I'm Alex. Welcome to my session. Now, if you want to profit from any stock market in the world, increase your return safely and consistently to 15 to 20% return a year over the long term, now this session is for you. Now, of course, if this is not something that you're looking for, maybe you can learn from other mentors as well. But if you want to learn how to invest safely, generate good, consistent results, this session is definitely for you and welcome to my session. Now, quick introduction about myself, just in case you have no idea who am I. So, hi, my name is Alex. Uh, today, I'm a speaker, trainer, and coach teaching people just like you how to invest safely, generate good investment results. Now, before I become a coach, speaker, and trainer, I used to be an uh, auditor from Deloitte. Now, just in case if you don't know who is Deloitte, Deloitte is actually one of the big four accounting firms in the world. So, we have Deloitte, KPMG, Ernst Young, and PwC. So I was from Deloitte as a young auditor. Then later I decided to switch my career to become an investment analyst, fund manager to manage a 20 million US dollar fund in an investment company. Then later I decided to switch my career to become who am I today, to teach people just like you how to invest safely, generate good investment results. Now a lot of people ask me, Alex, why do you want to switch your career from a high paid stable income job as an auditor, as an investment analyst, managing 20 million US dollar fund? Why do you want to switch your career to become a teacher, teaching people how to invest? Well, the reason is very simple is because I realize a lot of people know investing is important. I believe the reason why you are here is because you also know investing is very important. However, I realize one thing. Despite a lot of people know that investing is important, a lot of them, they do not know how to invest properly. Now, when they do not know how to invest properly, they either don't invest at all or simply invest when they hard-earned cash, hard-earned money. And I don't think that is wise. So since personally, I know how to manage my own personal fund, I also know how to manage my company fund, $20 million back then, that's why I decided to switch my career to become a teacher, teaching people just like you how to invest safely, generate good investment results. So I switched my career about four or five years ago. Since then, I traveled quite a bit, not just in Singapore, Malaysia, I traveled to US, Europe, uh, Hong Kong, China, Southeast Asia, different, different countries, different, different cities, uh, big stages, thousands of people, small stages, hundreds of people. Actually, to me, doesn't really matter to me how big the stage, how big the crowd. To me, most importantly, is you. As long as you go all out, 100% focused, 100% participation, 100% motivated, committed, want to be successful in your investing journey, I will assure you, me and my team will go 100% all out to just support and guide you in your investing journey, right? So other than that, personally, I'm also very blessed have this opportunity to share some of my investment views, investment ideas in certain press, English press, Chinese press, and being invited as a guest as a, uh, to, to share some of my investment views as well. Well, if you happen to read it, watch it, and take some action on it, I believe you also make some good, decent results for yourself. So yeah, this is me. A quick, simple, three, four minutes self-introduction about myself. I also don't want to spend too much time talking about myself because today my session with you is pretty limited, pretty short. I would love to squeeze all the values in this 30 minutes session with you. So my main topic today, okay, how are you going to increase your investment return in any stock market? Increase it to 15 to 20% return a year over long term low risk, high return strategy. And today I'll be sharing with you how you can do that with three very simple yet important steps. First step is this, the most important step, which is to find a method that has a proven track record. Yes, proven is very, very important because we are investing our hard-earned savings, hard-earned money, right? You don't want to, I mean, invest your money with a strategy that is not proven. Would you agree with me? Proven is very, very important. So now, what is this proven strategy, right? So I believe you know this particular gentleman, just in case you don't know, his name is called Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, and he's the best investor in the world. And he says this, price is what you pay, value is what you get, and when we invest, we simply want to buy a great business at a reasonable price. Now, what does he mean? I mean what does he mean? Huh? Now, if you look at the company, that he owns, which is Berkshire Hathaway. As of right now, the company share price is about 400,000 US dollar a share. Okay, so yes, you are right. You did not hear wrongly. I did not say wrongly. One share, 400,000 US dollar. Probably you are thinking, hmm, I need to sell in my house uh, just to buy one share, right? Or some of you, maybe you are thinking, wow, Alex, even I sell in my house, uh, also not even enough to buy one share. Now, the company that he owns is this company called Berkshire Hathaway. Now, in 1965, if you actually invest in his company, let's say you invest $10,000 and invest until today, go to sleep for the past 50 years, okay, 55 years, you don't look at the stock chart. Don't worry about it, up and down, up and down, because 
emotionally, I believe most of you, you were not able to take it. Invest, go to sleep, close your eyes, don't worry about share price. And today, your 10,000 will become $100 million. WOW, wow, isn't it, right? Now, for the past 55 years, your investment results consistently over every single year, over long term, grow 20%, 20%, 20% compounded annual growth rate. Isn't it very, very powerful? Now, why I show you Warren Buffett is because at least until today, no one else beat Warren Buffett's chart record. If you're able to find anyone that able to grow his portfolio, let's say 56 years consistently for 21%, then I learn from that person, right? If you're able to find someone else that able to actually generate much better return at a longer chart record, I will learn from him. But at least until today, no one else beat Warren Buffett yet. It's very, very safe to say that Warren Buffett actually utilized a strategy that is safe to use. And by the way, Warren Buffett is about 90s right now. He has been using this strategy, one only strategy for the past 60 years. Now, what does it mean? 90 years old, use this strategy, and he has been using it since 30s until right now, which means what? He already found a proven strategy that all of us, we can use, and it is safe. Even you are in 30s, 40s, 50s, until 90 years old, it is safe, and it is able to generate good, consistent results for us. So would you agree with me that all of us here, we should model and learn after Warren Buffett. So what is the strategy that he used in terms of investing? He used this strategy called value investing. Okay, value investing. Now, what is value investing all about? Let me give you an analogy. Now, let's say you want to buy a house. Let's say you want to buy a house uh, and you know the house value is about 500000 Dollars. The value is five hundred thousand dollars, but the seller wants to sell you at seven hundred thousand. Would you pay seven hundred thousand to buy the house, which is worth only five hundred thousand? I believe your answer will be a no. I mean, why are you overpaying it? Why are you paying seven hundred thousand to get something worth five hundred thousand? So you won't buy. But what if I tell you the value is 500,000, but the seller, because of certain urgency, right, because of certain emergency, right, he need cash fast, he's willing to let go his house at 450,000. Would you buy the house? Very likely you'll say yes, right? Because why? You are paying 450,000 to get something worth 500,000. You are buying it under value, right? Now, listen carefully. Doesn't matter whether you buy house or buy stocks, right? we make our buying and selling decision based on this thing called value. When the price is above the value, we don't buy because that's overvalued. But when the price is below the value, then we buy because that is undervalued. Now, property, house got value. Stocks and business also got value. So it's very important for us to determine the value before we make any buying and selling decision. How? When we buy into a stock, behind every stock, there is a business. Okay? Now, business generates value. How? Because every business will sell certain products or services. And when people like the products or services, people will pay it, buy it. Now, when business sell more products and services, they will make money. The more they sell, the more money they make. Now, of course, the more money they make, the more valuable the business is. So that's the reason why the business can grow more and more valuable. That's the reason why the share price goes up and up and up and up as the business become bigger and bigger and better and better. So now, when to buy, when to sell, right? Let me give you an example. Okay? When to buy, when to sell. I'll be using this company called Tesla. I believe all of us here, we definitely know or heard of Tesla, which is an electric vehicle company by Elon Musk, currently the richest man in the world. Now, let's say you know how to determine the value of Tesla and you realize okay, the business value of Tesla is $1,000 a share. Now, you compare this business value of $1,000 a share compared to the share price and you realize the share price right now is currently trading at $1,200 a share. Now, would you buy Tesla right now? Tesla value is $1,000, okay, but the share price is selling you at $1,200. Would you buy? I bet you won't. Why? I mean, it's just like the house. The value is 500000 and the seller is selling you at 700000 You won't buy because right now it is 
over value. So you won't buy, okay? But let's say after a few months, because the share price is up and down, up and down because of various reasons, let's say for example, COVID-19, okay? because of financial crash, right? Now, let me ask you one thing. During financial crash, during COVID-19, would you think okay, Tesla business will just vanish? Do you think people will stop buying Tesla? I believe Tesla fans will still love to buy Tesla, right? So, but because of market reaction, market panic, the share price will go up and down, up and down. Thousand two, let's say drop to $900. But you know Tesla business value is still at $1,000. But the share price right now is selling at $900. Would you buy Tesla right now? I bet you will buy. Why? Because it is undervalued. So can you see, as a stock investor, okay, how do we make our buying and selling decision? We make our buying and selling decision based on this thing called value, right? If the price is above the value, we don't buy. If the price is below the value, then we buy. And eventually, the share price will match the value. And of course, as the business becoming better and better, how? By selling more and more product and services, right? The value goes up, so the share price will goes up as well. Now, the thing is, if you buy it when it is old value, okay, eventually the share price will come down to match the value of the business. So we do not want to buy when it is old value. We only want to buy when it is undervalued. This is very, very important, okay? Now, first step, okay, after identifying the proven strategy, then you want to take the second step, which is to take massive, massive action. Now, the first step is just a skill, it's just a knowledge, just strategy. But the thing is, a lot of people say skills, knowledge, strategy is powerful. Yes, I agree it's powerful, but it's not that powerful because if you learn the skills, knowledge, strategy, if you don't apply it, it equals to zero. Would you agree with me, right? You need to apply the skills, knowledge, and strategy, then it will transform to the results that you deserve, and that is powerful. So after step one, after identify a proven strategy, then you need to apply it. Step two, take massive action. Now, probably a lot of you might be saying, wow, Alex, investing in stock market is very risky, right? Now, everything in life that we do, there's risk. Now, let me give you an example. For example, when we eat, there's risk. Now, what is the risk of eating? We might uh, eat dirty food and we get diarrhea, right? And let's say we cross the street. I mean, accident might happen. Now, the thing is, probably you'll be saying, well, Alex, when I eat, I'll make sure that I clean my hands. Right? I make sure that I go to a clean restaurant. Right? I make sure that I prepare my own food. And of course, when I cross the street, I'll make sure that I look left, look right, look left, make sure there's no cars before I cross the street. Now, can you say that? It's not that eating, there's no risk. It's not that crossing road, there's no risk. But because of certain action that you did before you do that, do that eating, do that crossing the street. That's why it reduces the risk. Your skills and knowledge reduce the risk of getting diarrhea from eating and of course getting accident when you cross the street. Can you see that? Risk comes from not knowing what you are doing, right? If you have the proper skills and knowledge, it will able to reduce your risk. Same goes to investing. Now, I'm not saying that investing in stock market, there's no risk. Yes, there's risk, just like when you eat, when you cross the street. But with proper skills and knowledge, it will reduce your risk in terms of stock investment. Let me give you an example. Okay? Now, we all know that right now, there's a lot of a growing trend. For example, Tesla, electric vehicles. Let's say, for example, AIs, robotics, cloud computing. We all know this is a growing trend. Okay, this is some knowledge that you, you probably already know. But the thing is this, have you ever thought of investing in this green trend where you enjoy the tailwind? It is much safer invest in those sunset business where the industry is facing a lot of headwinds. Now, by doing this, you are successfully reducing your risk already. Can you see that? Right? So, yes, stock investing is... Uh, there are certain risks, but with proper skills and knowledge, you are able to reduce your risk. Now, of course, probably some of you will be saying, but Alex, yes, I know, okay, these are the growing trends, right? but I have no financial background. I'm not able to identify which specific companies and which specific stocks to invest in in this growing trend, right? growing industry, right? because you have no financial background. Now, a lot of people thought that we need to have strong financial background, let's say, for example, as an accountant, as an auditor, as an economist to invest. Now, you do not need 
Now, why? You do not need to have strong financial background. However, you do need okay, to be financial literate. Okay? You need to be, you need to know okay, what are things that's important, things that's not important, less important, just uh, ignore them. Focus on things that's important to make your best investment decision. Now, let me share with you what are the three things that is very, very important for you to identify and invest in the stock market. Three R, right? First R is this. You want to invest in the right business model. Now, why this is very important, right? It's because when you invest in stock, you're investing in a business. How are you going to make money is when the business is doing better and better and better by selling more products and services. So you must understand whether the business is doing well or doing poorly. Is the customer buying more and more of the particular product? Now, if the customer is buying more and more of this particular product and the business is selling more and more, which means the business is making more and more money. When the business is making more and more money, means the value of the business will grow. When the value of the business will grow, this is how your share price will grow and this is how you will make money. Okay? And the second R is right management. And why this is so important is because behind every business, there's some people, okay, a group of people that is managing the business, right? So this is the management team. The management team will be the one driving the business. So when we invest in a business, essentially, essentially we are putting our hard-earned savings, hard-earned money to this group of people. Yes or no? So we want to see whether this management team, whether they have the proper capabilities, whether they have the uh, shareholder interest, okay, whether they will uh, grow, the, grow the business well. So all these traits, all these uh, qualities need to be found in the management team so that we are able to invest our money safely at the same time grow it consistently. Next, of course, after identifying the good business model, good management, then we only want to invest with a right valuation versus price. Again, let me emphasize again and again, we only want to buy when it is undervalued or a fair value. Okay? Best is undervalued. Okay? If not, fair value, not overvalued. Because when you buy when it is overvalued, the share price will crash eventually. And when you buy when it is fair value or undervalued, as the business grow, make more money, make more valuable, uh, uh, make more money and become more and more valuable, then okay, when you wait, the share price will reflect the fundamental and grows accordingly as well. Okay? So this is the second step. So first step, you know what is a proven strategy that is used by world best investors in the world. Second, you apply it. And third, which is very, very important, you need to get yourself a mentor. Now, why do I say that? Now, I believe, right? I believe right now you understand the strategy, right? You know that you need to take action, but you probably might not know the practical stuff, the step-by-step -step stuff, how to analyze a business, how to look into the management, how to do the valuation, all these things, which you definitely need someone to guide you. And why do I say that everyone needs a mentor? It's because, now, Warren Buffett, he's the world best investor in the world. Do you know, right, he also learned investing from someone else, right? Warren Buffett also has a mentor called Benjamin Graham. Now, world best investors in the world also have mentor. I mean, who are we? We definitely need a mentor to guide us. I mean, for me, I have a mentor myself, right, to actually guide me. So that's why I become uh, who am I today. And definitely for you, right, you need a mentor. Now, of course, if I have this opportunity, I would love to guide you and mentor you as well, right? Now, by the way, this is Tony Robbins, right? The mentor of the mentors. He says this, uh, the best way to get trained is to get mentored. Live or buy reading or watch videos by masters. That way you start executing based on lessons from the best. Yes, everyone needs a mentor, right? Doesn't matter whether you attend live seminar, doesn't matter whether you learn from videos or reading, everyone needs a mentor. But of course, make sure the mentor is reputable, is credible, someone that you like, someone that you trust, so that you're able to actually learn well and execute those strategies well to generate the results that you deserve. Now, if you enjoyed my session so far and you love to continue learning from me, I would love to invite you in this Smart Investing Workshop where I have more time to go through with you step by step to analyze stock with you. Because today, I just don't have the time, uh, luxury to go through with you step by step of analysis. But during this Smart Investing Workshop, which is live, I have 
more chance to interact with you, talk to you, understanding your challenges, and go through with you a step-by-step process, okay? An analytical framework where you're able to analyze in any stocks, doesn't matter whether it's local stocks, international stocks, and you know whether it's a good company or lousy company, and you know when to buy and when to sell. Now, if you love, okay, quickly join me. It's free anyway, okay, so that I have more time to actually support and guide you in your investing journey. So scan on the QR code, click on the link so that you can join me there. I'll see you there in my session. Bye, guys.